I'm Carrie. Hi, I'm Lidge. And we're Chef, Chef and, and Steward. Today we're going to be doing something that is really a fancy word. It's called fabricating. And what are we going to be fabricating, Lidge? We're going to be fabricating a whole chicken. Fabricating is really fancy chef school speak for what exactly? For cutting up a chicken into separate parts, basically. So really we're going to be jointing a chicken. First thing we do, we remove the wings. In between the joints where you have the bones, right here, you see the separation? You slide your knife, put it down slowly. That's a pretty sharp knife. Yes, it is. Turn side again. Hold here, in between the, the joints, like I said, and just pull. Same thing again on the side, pull in between the joints, yeah. Next, we're gonna cut the fat, the legs, right here. Where is it on the chicken that you're actually cutting in the joint? Uh, between the leg and the thigh. Okay. Yeah, so if you look where this fat line is right here, you just slide your knife right in between there. Yeah, okay. Then we turn it over. We do the other side. Again, slide in between, pull the knife. There you go. Then we turn again. We bend the bone back. You heard it snap a while ago. Then we cut on the side. Pull it down, pull again. One slow moving, okay? Next side again. And that's your thigh right there. Yes, this is the thigh right here. And it's also very important, the hand that you're using to hold the knife, to remain dry so you don't cut yourself. But never to drop the knife at all or touch the chicken with this, with this hand while you're fabricating the chicken, okay? Now, we pull again. Watch for where the bone is, the joints are, and just cut. All right, okay, nice. So now you have two legs and two thighs. Yes. That's a pretty small chicken. Yeah, it is, but it it's, it's, tastes lovely when we're gonna be finished with it. Next, we remove the fat at the end. And some people use that chicken fat to make crisps and the skin, right? Yes, they do. Okay. Okay, next we go. We're gonna remove the breast. So this line that you see right here, this is the separation of the bone. You That's put right your knife, in the middle. Right in the middle. You put the knife at the side and you slowly pull the knife down. You use the bone on the chicken as a guide. So you're slowly putting it down one more time. Then you pull away. Then put it again. Use it as a guide. So you're sliding the knife right on top right of the bone? Right on top of the bone, yes, very good, yeah. And then you come down again, on top of the bone. Now, the next one is, if you want to keep the wings on, on the chicken, you just cut where the joints is. You see this joint right here? Yeah, you pull, pull it back one more time again. Now we're going to do the other side. So we pull again. Be careful of your fingers. Pull down like I said before, using the bone as a guide. Pull down, slide the knife over. Yes, this is the bone I'm talking about right here. Wow, okay now, yes. use the bone as a guide again and pull down. Pull again. I notice you're always tucking your fingers back. I all, that way I don't cut my fingers when I'm doing anything in the kitchen. I always bend my fingers at all times. Yeah. Next we continue. Same thing again. We pull the knife along the bones of the chicken as a guide. Then also here again. Pull it down. Yeah. No. There we have it. Pull this side. There. And here is your lovely chicken. Now if you want at home, you, you can cut the chicken breast in half. 
it's fine cutting like that yeah and you put it aside and if you would like to remove the wings it's the same process where you see the hairline right here you just run the knife against right there and it's in between the joints Bam. there you go that's and a tiny can't. chicken wing yes it is and it tastes lovely yeah so how if you wanted a regular chicken breast how would you get that off so that you'd get the regular chicken steak breast steak with, with skin or without with skin first and then without skin. With skin, regular. So what you do, you pull back, cut along the, the joints, you remove the chicken wings. And then that's your chicken breast And then steak. this is your chicken, your, chi your chicken breast. Okay, yeah. and how do you remove the skin? Removing the skin, you hold right here and just pull. Pull it back slowly. It's as easy as one, two, three. Yes, it is. Then you pull again. This part you'd have to cut slightly. Then that's it. Piece of joint is still left on the brush. We just slice it off slowly. Then, here is your entire chicken breast. It's fun cooking with a man in the kitchen, especially when they do all the work. And that's it. It's still moving. Yes, it's still alive. <laughs> ah, it's fresh. <sighs> so, but wait, this is not all. What's that big back of chicken over there? Okay, I forgot about this. Chicken back, yeah? You can use it to make stocks if you'd like, and soup, yeah? And this is really good because of the bones, right? Yes, the bones has more flavor when you make a stock or a chicken soup. You see, that's what you'd lose if you bought the chicken cut up in the supermarket. You'd lose the back with all the meatiness of the bones and all that flavor for the soups and stocks. And that's how you fabricate a chicken and save money. Mm -hmm.